All right. right. Sorry, Sorry about, about that. that. Uh, let me make, make sure, sure this worked. worked. Uh, and okay, okay, there we, we go. go. Mute that sucker. All right. Hey, good morning, afternoon, everybody, depending on where you are at. Uh, awesome. And I just lost my chat. Cool. Um, how am I going to get that back? Oh, let's go over here. We're going to cheat. All right. Let's see. All right, we'll have to cheat a little bit this morning. So, oops, as everything typically goes, my camera quit. So I have no idea. I'm using my laptop cam, so it's not that great. Uh, picks up a lot of bright lights, and I can see I got some major glare going on. So how is everybody doing today? Um, see who we got here. We had... Eric from Music Gear was first in the house this morning. Good morning, buddy. Um, not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. Awesome. Uh, hold on. Did I lose it? Let's see what's going on here real quick. Hold on. Let's see if it catches up. Eh, it looks all right. All right. Uh, who else have we got here? We had Ben Coombs. Buddy, how you doing? Glad you could stop in. My good friend, Oregon Steve, out there on the Pacific Northwest. Large Guitars, good morning, sir. David Ennis, Joe Hervey. Joe Hervey, there's some metal for you, sir. But I do have, oops, hold on, let's do that. And I'm probably going to have to do something here. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so Joe... I do have a question for you, sir. Sorry, I got to look at my phone for the chat since it disappeared. Um, have you listened to the David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, and Spiders from Mars yet? Yeah, that was your assignment on Wednesday. So uh, you were supposed to check that out. I don't know if you got there yet or not. Let me know. Let's see who else we got. Uh... Let's see, there's David Ennis, Robert Metzenberg, good morning, sir, or afternoon. I guess it's afternoon for pretty much everybody. Butterfly, how are you doing this fine day? Gary Tholander, good to talk to you yesterday. And as you can see, I do not live in my car. There you go. There is actually a house associated with that. Um, I like that kind of that effect glowing um don't know how we're going to deal with that and who else oh rob from tessie switches here cool um good to see everybody today and uh, let's see here so i had a couple little teases i got a bunch of stuff came in the mail this week so i thought well let's uh let's go and throw it out there and uh see how hold on a second sorry i gotta just tweak this a little bit see how everything uh what came in so we'll start with this actually came last week um oh who else just popped in there four walls music good to see you sir uh let's see <laughs> well i appreciate your concern gary um, uh, I know it was a, uh, it, like I said, it was a running joke that I was always in my car and then we had a little, uh, a little, uh, Skype call with a bunch of people yesterday and I was in the back of my car. So <laughs> it just seems to work out that way. All right, let's see. So let's get started here. So first off last week and I had posted a brief little thing on my I'm, gonna find, I'm trying to find where I can get that glare where it's not going to be annoying let me fix that sorry that's just too annoying that's a little better there we go all right now everybody's not quite so blinded all right 
So, um, last week I had posted a little blurb on my Instagram about something I got in the mail from Chicago Music Exchange. Um, they were having a sale from Veterans Day, um, but they had this, and it's, let's see, we'll have no idea how good the camera is, like I said, but uh, nice strap. that the proceeds went to uh, one of the Veterans Foundations. Uh, so I did go ahead and pick that up. Uh, it looks really good. Really good with this right here. So definitely a good contrast. Uh, and you can never have too many straps as far as I'm concerned. Blinded by the light. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> good. That was, a, that was pretty good. Pretty good. All right. I'm trying to find somewhere I can set this. Maybe that'll work up there. No. No. I'm having lots of problems this morning. All right. So, I keep saying this morning. Um... But uh, that was something I thought was pretty cool. Um, it, uh, I think it's the first thing I've ever bought from Chicago Music Exchange. And uh, man, it came like right away. Only took a couple days. Uh, and was, um, <laughs> that's, but um, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. He, um, like I said, it was on sale. I think they they only they had a limited number of them, um, so the premise was good because, like I said, it sent money to several veterans groups. Um, and uh, you know, you can never never support your veterans enough. So um, let's get on with some of the cool stuff. I think so since uh, Rob is here. We'll do this one first. So this came, I've got to get used to where the camera is. I keep looking up there where it's supposed to be. Tessie switch, nice box. Let's uh, go ahead and crack this puppy open. So if you guys don't know, um, Tessie switch supplies quite a bit of um, we'll call it uh, hardware, but uh, they do pedals and cables and all kinds of cool custom stuff for guitars. If you're doing repairs, uh, they have just about anything you could search out as far as uh, parts go. Uh, and uh, when I saw that uh, they had um, a new product that he had been teasing about and teasing, 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 that uh, I thought, well, as soon as it came out, I reached out to him because it was kind of made for Helix. And uh, turns out that uh, he put together a set for uh, the HX Stomp. So uh, we've got, uh, and let's see if we can get the glare. Ah, got a lot of glare there. Oh, there we go. That helps. There it is. So nice anodized aluminum set of knobs for my HX Stomp. Um, Tessie switch. There we go. And uh, pretty cool. Comes in this nice tin. And great presentation let's see here we can get this open or not there we go see if we can lose any parts so let me just check back here real quick let's go back here let's finish opening this up and then we'll go back to the chat because like i said it's i don't know how you guys uh ben and eric i don't know how you guys keep track of all this 
They're definitely professionals because I certainly struggle with trying to do four or five things at one time. Guess I probably shouldn't toss that. That's got some instructions on it there. Tells you what's in the package. Pretty cool. Comes with the hex wrench. Go ahead and get that open. So nice aluminum knobs there. Nice machining on those. Those look really good, Rob. Awesome. Uh, so that's obviously the uh, the volume knob. Nope, maybe not. Yes, it's got the knob on it. Yep, it's got the little uh -oh, losing parts already. It's got the uh, the little index on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is. So it's got the little index for the volume on there, and then got all the uh, the standard size knobs. So we'll see if we have time. Maybe we can get those put on there today. But these are really nice. Uh, good job, Rob. These are, and the the packaging, the presentation comes with the Allen wrench that you need. Nice, nice job. Uh, so check them out on his website. I'll put the link in after. Um, Should have did that ahead of time, but uh, sorry about that. But good. Good stuff there. That is, uh, that's going to look really cool. The red on the black. Definitely, uh, definitely looking forward to getting those on there. Depending on how things go. If we have time, we'll, uh, I don't know, my other, we'll try and get that up. So uh, let me jump back to the chat here for a second. Pardon me. Uh, let's see. Boy, I am way behind. Uh, there we go. Oh, it looks like uh, Gary got himself an audio interface. Good job, sir. That's great. Uh, there are quite a few of those things out there. There we go. And let's see. A lot of talk about that. Helix for the win. Absolutely. I'm not the Helix guy. I got the stomp. So, just, you know, one of these days I might grow up, Eric, and I'll be like you. Uh, I don't know if you guys caught that. Uh, Rob said that they'll fit anything with a six millimeter shaft, which is most pedals. Uh, hey, Paul Lou, didn't see you in there. Thanks for coming by. Um, yeah, those things are nice, very nice. About five minutes to swap them out. Well, maybe. <laughs> Um, yeah, they, those things came out really nice when I saw the quick little, uh, announcement, I guess in a couple pictures, I've got to say that the pictures don't do them justice in person. Um, they look pretty good on the website. And, uh, I think the, I think like with anything with cameras, the color is hard to translate, but man, there, those are really, there we go. We'll show them one more time. Get the Tessie logo in there. Nice stuff, man. Good stuff. Can't wait to put those on. And I'm going to lose the instructions. So, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> I know you love Stomp, Eric. I'm just, you know, just saying. If, you, if I would have did things again, maybe would have went a different direction. But um, so let's uh, continue on here. So, uh, Lars, I don't know if, uh, I'm sure Rob will get back, but there, he has a, I believe it's Helix Knobs, is the website, is that correct, Rob? If you, uh, if you, hold on, let me, let me see if I can do something here real quick, don't know if I can, I will, <laughs> we will do that. So I just uh, hooked Ben up there 
gave him his spanner. Um, if you would, if you can find it, Ben, uh, go ahead and post it. Uh, go ahead and post that link so that uh, it's up there in the chat. I would appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. Put you to work this fine day. All right. So, uh, Joe Hervey, I did not see you answer my question to you previously. Did you do your homework and dig into the David Bowie? <laughs> I'm, I'm trust Steve. Okay. See? Anybody else that... Uh, so, uh, the other thing that came in today, or this week, was... Um, Thank you, helixknobs.com. I knew it was, I was close. I couldn't remember if it was. <laughs> so go check them out. Yep, oh, looks like we might have a little buffering there. Hold on, my internet is freaking out. There we go, it's back. Okay. All righty. <laughs> now, see, that means you have to work, Steve. All right, so the other thing that I got in was in the thought of upgrading a little bit to the HX Stomp was from Jet Pedals. Uh, as you can see, handmade in Kansas City, Missouri. And uh, oh, I don't know if it's Missouri or Kansas. Hold on. Missouri. <laughs> Gotta watch that because there are two. And uh, get this open here. What this is, oops, nice presentation on this too. A little fuzzy. Uh, upside down. There you are, buddy. We kind of missed you yesterday. Oops, a lot of stuff falling everywhere. So we've got the Jet Micro. It is a, oops, there we go. Everything's backwards. So a MIDI pedal, MIDI expander pedal for the HX Stomp. Um, three, three buttons, does some different sequencing, but allows you to control all six blocks with the HX Stomp. Uh, it will also, by going into different modes, pushing two buttons, allows you to go into snapshot mode and uh, pushing the other two buttons takes you into channel up channel down mode and still gives you direct access to the looper as well as the tuner uh, all within the basically in this nice small form fitting package uh, just uses your standard nine volt oops wrong finger <laughs> nine volt negative tip midi cable and uh, there we go. Kind of hard to center on there. Oh, look at that. Awesome. So that is pretty cool. Um, I will, again, I'll post the link on this. They have a deal right now for, I don't know how many stomp guys are in there. Um, uh, but um, they have 20% off until Cyber Monday. So if this is something you guys are interested in, again, I'll post the link afterwards. Um, I'm gonna try and uh, get this uh, hooked up and put a demo up here pretty soon. But uh, very nice, nice quality, all aluminum. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work here. Let me see if I can do something here. Let's see if we can switch to, it looks like it might work. Let's see if we can do something. All right. There we go. All right, so. All right, let's transition here, sorry. So that is my kind of my mini pedal board. 
you can see I've got the stomp on there and I've got one of the FS5s on there. So that allows me to, uh, sorry. Uh, this is hard to do folks, I'm telling you. Change the modes. While with uh, what the um, that micro pedal does is it will replace it will it'll replace the um, that FS5 foot switch and allow me to uh, oh cool um, it will. Uh, Give me a little more flexibility because I do use that as my live board, and um, it it does have some limitations, and it takes some getting used to, kind of setting things up ahead of time, and this will certainly help get access to some of those features. So let me go over here to the chat real quick and see what I missed. So upside down is here. Uh, good to see you, sir. You missed the opening song. Um, let's see. Uh, and I saw that. Uh, so uh, looks like Rob is letting us use the uh, coupon code Canucks for uh, for anything off the Tessie site. That's really cool. Appreciate that, Rob. Thank you very much. Um, Let's see, upside down, nope. Uh, and honestly, for the money, the the stomp is, for multi-effects pedal, it's really hard to beat. I know there, you know, there are some lower cost units coming to the market now. Moore's got one, Hot, hot Tone, or Hotone, or Hot Tone, Hot One however you pronounce their name, they've got one coming out. Uh, and you're gonna see more and more of those, but I think you're not gonna get the the quality and the um, technical expertise or background with, uh, with some of those products. So, oops, I almost tried to break that. Um, Thank you very much, Ben. Peace. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Um, uh, let's see. Six String Brian. Hey, good to see you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Do appreciate that. Uh, and uh, let's see. That's about it in the chat. So the, um, well, 15. That's a my new record. How about that? But uh, amazing what happens when you can actually schedule thing. Um, so definitely thanks to Rob for uh, for getting those knobs out as well as um, allowing uh, the uh, Canucks code. So and don't forget to check out uh, Ben's show. I guess Monday. I don't think you're back to Saturday yet. Is that? Let me know there, Ben. I'm not sure. And uh, my buddy Eric at uh, Music Gear, watch out for his stuff coming out. He did a nice uh, little jam and run through last night on his new mixer, which was really cool. Um, so I've got one more thing here. And uh, of course, with uh, it was the timing was really good. So with the, uh, the pedal, got to have a cable because <laughs> I don't have I didn't have any MIDI cables. Um, so I got the, uh, the rock board, nice flat. Eric, good, uh, good to see you. Thanks for, uh, thanks for stopping in. Certainly appreciate it. Um, and the trick with the cable, thanks for coming, buddy. Uh, and uh, Butterfly, thank you also. Uh, glad you guys could pop in. So the trick with the MIDI cables is the end on these, uh, where it connects on the stomp, it's a right angle. And 
it needed to be the pins would be with the on the bottom so that when it was installed so that it was pointing backwards so it took quite a while to source out through all the different MIDI cables plus the nice thing with this is flat it's not too big uh, you could see from the size of my board uh, oh well there you go so Ben's on tonight at 8. Everybody make sure you stop in and check him out uh, for his uh, Connects with Guitars. He's got his internet uh, squared away finally. Sorry, um, maybe I shouldn't say finally, <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> but uh, make sure you stop in tonight at 8 and check out Ben. So in uh, this one is just under 24 inches, so it keeps the everything tight on the pedal board, nice and flat. Uh, you can see they don't take up a lot of room. So, um, let's see if we can plug that in on here. Perfect. So you can see, I'll turn around that way, so face the front. I hate having to look up. I got to figure out how to do that because the delay kills me every time. So, uh, very low profile. Uh, the trick I'm going to have is, uh, I don't know if you noticed on my board, <laughs> yeah, um, that I don't have any Velcro. Let me see if we can switch this back over here real quick. Let's see how the, there we go. Um, so I don't use Velcro on my board. I've got... Um, these straps, uh, they're kind of cord wraps, but they, uh, not a lot of light. I hate to turn the light on, it'd be too bright. Um, there is a pretty good shot. And uh, it just makes it a lot easier. Velcro in Florida is not very good. It, um, It doesn't last. It doesn't last at all. So, uh, so that's going to be a little bit of a trick with this one. We'll have to figure out uh, where we, how we can uh, get that on the, on there. Um, all right. So there we go. So that is. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to the chat. And uh, Butterfly and Eric had to split. Awesome. Thanks for stopping by. I think I already said that. Um, yeah, awesome, Ben. Glad you got your internet up and running. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll definitely uh, definitely check that out tonight. Yeah. Yes, definitely no Velcro upside down. Um, It, uh, it just doesn't, you put something in the car for an hour, if you have to leave it in there for any length of time, when you go to take it out, you've got pedals just laying all over the place. So I found those, uh, those rubber straps. I will, uh, you can get them on Amazon. They work pretty good. I've got a couple of Velcro ones as well that, uh, have like a hook and loop kind of, uh, thing. But again, it's, uh, these are these are actually pretty nice and uh oh janice hey nice to see you <laughs> i appreciate you stopping by thank you very much and yes steve at times it can be too damn hot down there uh, but not today not so bad uh we're blistery mid 60s almost pushing 70 today so see, i got my three quarter sleeves on so you can tell it's a little cold uh-huh. Um, uh, so that was, uh, I was going to try and change the knobs out live, but uh, I'm not so sure my camera setup is not working. Like I said, when I first started, for some reason, I lost my webcam. I don't know what happened. My uh, better camera anyway. So I'm using the laptop right now in uh, the um, 
I'd have to unplug everything off of the stomp off the board. So I'm probably not going to get to swapping those out. Um, <laughs> thank you, Janice. Appreciate that. Um, how long have I had the stomp? What effects I had to compare the stomp with? So, Joe, I've had it almost a year. Pretty close. I used to have a, uh, which Oregon Steve has now. Yeah, break out the parkas. Um, a uh, the HX uh, X3 Live, which is the pedal, the f whole floor unit. Um, in uh, with that in the, and I had a, a heavy duty case for it, and by the time you throw everything in there, it was almost 20 pounds, and I got tired of lugging that around. To be quite honest, so I've had that about a year. Um, I do have, um, hold on, we can, we can flip here. Let's see. There we go. Hold on, let's transition here. So I do have a Marshall DSL 40 with a 212 cabinet. Um, uh, cord's not quite long enough, but up on top of there, I've got some LPD pedals. Um, the uh, TC Electronics chorus that I won from Six String Brian, if he's still there, and uh, use the uh, again, it's a Stomp uh, M5 just for. Um, I was using a separate, I have a separate, I don't know if you can see over there at the on, sitting on top of the fender, there's a, um, a TC Electronics. Uh, sky and something so the reverb and chorus the kind of bricky ones and uh, but i will say that uh, from the uh, standpoint of um and then i also have a line six spider uh, spider five not the two the just the regular five um with the 112 120 watt and then that's the 40 watt DSL 40C. And then that's a the Fender Princeton stereo core. So that's a solid state amp. Uh, so I've got a little bit of everything. So we got uh, analog, solid state, and digital. So it hit all the realms. So in answer to your question though, so yes, I have used uh, quite a few different pedals and what I can say is the stomp, I don't necessarily miss having all the pedals. Uh, it is a little bit tricky sometimes getting everything preset ahead of time programming. Uh, you got to get away from the factory presets and just, you know, find an amp, find a cabinet and try the, um, try the effects that you want to use. But you'll find a couple that you'll, you'll stick to. Uh, for the most part, and uh, then specialize when you need a couple things. Um, but no, it's uh, as far as comparing it to analog pedals, honestly, I, I can't tell the difference, but I am certainly not a uh, uh, effects connoisseur, <laughs> to say the least. I, I know what I like when I need it, uh, the nice thing with the uh, stomp was because of the majority of the music I play, I got to have a lot of ambience, a lot of clean tones, and then be able to put some drive in on top of that. So the stomp fits that perfect uh, in a small form package, and uh, it's just uh, very easy and convenient to use. Uh, you can do the HX edit, so you can pull that up. Um, let's see here. I think I got that set. Let me see here. Let's see how this is working too. There we go. Look at that. We can transition to that.
sorry about that and uh, you can pretty much get just about uh oh lost the audio oh sorry about that well that was not good yeah I told you it's amateur hour sometimes so it should be back now let me know hold on as soon as the uh, got a little delay There we go. Everything should be good now. Uh, sorry about that. I did not have, must have had it muted on, oh, I don't have on that scene for some reason. I don't have the mixer audio, so we'll have to fix that. Uh, let's go back to the chat for a minute here. Uh, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. So Janice says uh, her friend has the Line 6 Spider. There's quite a bit of difference between that and the Helix. Um, I see Rob has an answered your, did answer your question there. But essentially the, uh, the big difference is the accessibility of the effects in the Helix. Uh, it's really more of a floor unit with the Spider. You've got the amp kind of built in. So you've got uh, everything all in one including the speaker cabinet so that's kind of the biggest difference Janice um, uh, Paul let's see gonna be in Wesley Chapel tomorrow no there's nothing new um, so I do know December 5th uh, who's it John McLaughlin from the birds and uh, is going to be at uh, replay guitars uh, doing a seminar I think December 5th starting at five o'clock I believe so it might be something you might want to make a drive down to Tampa for for that um, let's see Sorry, kind of lost that. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that with the audio, folks. Uh, all right, Ben, you take care. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. That was awesome. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for throwing those links up, putting you to work. You do better than I do. So, um, uh, Let's see. Zoom G1 for $21 plus tax. <laughs> that's that seems like a pretty good deal i know the zoom stuff is made really well i've had some of those on and off through the years joe so um it really depends on uh what you what you want to use it for to be quite honest uh if you're just looking for something to add a variety of effects uh, like i said the zoom you can't go wrong with that stuff that's um that's definitely some quality uh Trying to think of what the last one I had was a little multi effects pedal, kind of the size of the standard boss. Uh, and it had quite a few uh, amps and uh, distortion, mm, modulation effects, delays, everything built in. Um, so there, it's actually good stuff. Um, I will. Uh, so just Joe, depending on, you know, what you're thinking you might want to do. I know the big, big three, I guess, and call them the big three, Guitar Center, Sweetwater, and a Musician's Friend are going to have quite a few Black Friday specials. Uh, they do extend credit at low payment stuff. Uh, they got great return policies, so... Might be something uh, you might want to look at. Um, well, that look that sounds pretty good, Joe. I mean, especially at that price, um, twenty-one bucks. So. Cool. 
Uh, let's see. So, so Joe, you still avoided answering my question about David Bowie. I got your attention now. I want to know, have you list checked out Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars yet? I'm going to wait till you answer. So we can't go on until Joe answers the question, yes or no. We're going to put him on the spot. Waiting, Joe. Waiting for you. I do a little intermission music, but uh, got issues right now with that, so. Exciting stuff here, huh? All right. So, we'll um, probably going to wrap it up here. I, uh, I'm i going to get those knobs changed out. I'll shoot a quick video of that. Uh, put that up on my uh, channel later. We'll see. Oh, sorry. You have not. Well, check it out. Um and uh, we'll get that uh, put up there. If you get a chance, go check out some of my other, I don't have too many videos up there, but check out the Larry Mitchell video. Um, some awesome playing with that guy. Uh, what, a, what a great guy. Uh, that was a, a real fun weekend. And um, just, uh, we will, uh, I was just trying to think I had something else and it went in and out. <laughs> so lost my train of thought. Uh, everybody check out Tessie switch. Uh, don't forget uh, Canucks coupon code. Uh, pick up his, uh, his, any of his stuff off his website. He's got some, some great products. If you need to fix anything on your guitar, he's got it. Um, pick up your set, your helix knobs, all you, not too many of you guys out there. So six string Brian, I know you've got uh, you've got the Helix and the Stomp both. So you need to need to hit up Rob and uh, you guys. Uh, everybody have a great day. Have a good evening, and uh, we'll see you all in the chats. I'm gonna flip it back over to the intro music uh, and uh, oh, that reminds me. Um, the intro song. I don't know how many of you got a chance to check that out. I'll put that up there on the going on the outro. But um, uh, that was a band called Legs Diamond. Uh, actually, saw they're still performing. Um, late seventies band. Um, oh, I didn't see that. Phil, how you doing, buddy? You popping in right at the end. I saw your live video today from the guitar show. Can't wait to see how that all uh, turns out. So, um, Steve, you're doing a great job, buddy. I appreciate everything you're doing there. Um, so, yeah, everybody, uh, check out everybody else's channel. You guys have a great day. Uh, get out and enjoy that nice weather if you've got some in your area like we do. So everybody have a good one and uh, we will talk to you later. Thanks for coming, everybody. Peace. I'm going to try and switch back here. Let's see. Get that. Uh, oops. Go back. See, it's not so easy.